Hi guys, Matt Sardo here. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a very long time, and uh, it's time. I went to Ollie's. Went to Ollie's! I don't know if you guys know about this. This is big in the Reddit circles. Ollie's uh, discount uh, outlet, whatever. Uh, they get the trades and discount, and they also do grab bags. And so I picked up uh, this one. Five comic books for $5.99. So I picked up two of those. And then I did the 10-pack uh, for $7.99. 10-pack, $7.99. They say it's a $49 value. That's insane. That's just got to be insane. All right. So this one I picked up right here because of the Daredevil cover. The, the 90s Daredevil. I was like, okay, the 90s uh, Daredevil un uh, costume, uniform. <laughs> And I was like, oh, man, this cover looks awesome. And so I want, I, that's why I picked it up. And then I saw this in the back, and I was like, I remember that from my childhood. What do we got back here? Sky Shark, Operation Wolf, Renegade. You know, like, these were all the games I played as, uh, as a kid on my Nintendo. Supreme Marketing. I just, I just realized that where it was coming from. Supreme Marketing. I wonder what company that is. Collector five pack, find original comics from the 70s to the present, Marvel and DC only. And then this one right here. And then this stuff right here. This goodness. These horrible figures. But I love these figures. I think I had I had uh, Juggernaut. I had a Juggernaut, I had Nightcrawler. I think I had Colossus. Available at KB Toys. So that's why I picked up this one. When I was looking at them all, this right here, I picked up this pile right here uh, because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then the uh, Batman black and white. I was like, okay, this is going to be a good pile. So let's see. Oh, this is some teen plus, some teen. Has teen it says teen plus, plus teen plus. All right, so let's go through the Alpha Light one and let's see if we uh, found some good stuff in here or if we just got ripped off. I mean, who knows? Who knows what we got? All right, looking at this, Alpha Fight 44, that's a, that's a good pick. Uh, Civil War Frontline number nine. Boom. Uh, X-Force number seven. Ooh, that's a good one. It's a good cover. That's a good classic cover. Casualties of War. Uh, Superman 706. Ooh, okay. When was that from? Does that have a date? No. This is definitely something that I love. Uh, this, And I love that I got the direct edition as well. Sleepwalker number five. Spidey vs. Sleepy. Enough said. And this is like highlight of amazing Spider-Man. McFarlane era. Look at all the webs. Look at the eyes. If this is inspired by Todd McFarlane in the most way. And then I love this. Look at that corner box, Sleepwalker corner box. That's really good. It's, it got cut off. I'm trying to see who did the cover. Brett Bylevins? Brett Bylevins did the cover. But his thing got cut off. And this is a really awesome cover. Just pure 90s gloriousness. Let's make sure it's from the 90s. 1991. Doesn't get more 90s than that. Oh, look at that opening page. Try not to break my book. I like the colors on that. Everything's good on that one. Oh, man. Brett was... Brett had his McFarlane angles down. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is... That is a panel layout by Todd, if not... If I've ever seen before. Okay, so let's think. Five ninety nine. I mean, there's there's a few books in here. Uh, condition of some things is a little bit dinged up here and there. I mean, Frontline number nine is a big suckage to me. So I'm like, this is the middle of a story arc. Um, everything looks kind of dinged up. I mean, it's gonna get dinged up because it's from Ollie's, and everybody just digs through everything. So condition wise, not the best. All right, let's go see if our next one, 
our daredevil pile right here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, daredevil cover's a little dinged up, but it still looks glorious. That's a beautiful daredevil cover. Legion of Superheroes, 47. Okay. I like where we are in the time frame of the world. 1993. Late June, 92, Batman. I like that. I was a big fan when uh, Tim Drake got on the up there. Because then you knew, like, oh, it is definitely, he's definitely in, in going to be happening. Interesting. Inking is has oh, a completely different time frame for Batman. Kiss Renegade, new album available everywhere. Somebody at Kiss paid for this ad. Oh, this is really cool. I like this cover uh, a lot. This could be the best cover right there. Hulk 294. Look at that. That is insane. The nightmares that Hulk gives me. That is just a beautiful cover. I wonder if I can figure out who it's from. Hulk is fighting the boomerang. Uh, that's going to take about two seconds. This is, let's see. I don't want to ruin the book, but I also want to show you the Hulk angry. And then you have boomerang. I'm like, yeah, he's going to get his ass kicked like immediately. Oh, and this one's definitely burned in my memory. Uh, 1988, Web of Spider-Man 48, Inferno. The Hobgoblin Possessed. That's a good cover. That's a solid cover. Now, oh, Demo Goblin. Ah! And then Norman's Harris. Norman's Harris. Who's Jerry Conway's the writer? Let's see if I can get Demo Goblin. And then it's just colored. Any Osborne hair, you can spot it in the crowd. It's a shame they didn't figure out how to do that in a movie. Okay, so this one's a little bit better. I mean, definitely, you know. It's dollar bin diving. I would feel I'd feel okay spending a dollar a piece on this. So, you know, five books for a dollar. Five quality dollar books, but I paid six dollars. So not too bad. First one was kind of a sleepwalker, it was probably the best. All right, so now it's we're at the 10 pack comic bundle up to forty nine dollars worth of comic books. Up to forty nine dollars of value. See what we got here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 108. I guess if you're going to start reading Turtles, just start in the middle. Shout out to Greg getting a job over at uh, Marketing at Friday W. He loves the Turtles. Hey, we're sticking with Batman. Batman 92. All right. Who is... Yeah, just look at the coloring difference in paper. Uh, and does it work? That's crazy. James Tinian. James, James. Transformers Shattered Glass, number three. This is a really good cover. I like that. I like, I've never gotten into reading Transformers in comics, but I will stare at these covers all day long. Oh, another good cover. Batman, The Joker, Warzone, number one, a dangerous collection of stories from the Gotham Warzone. Another good cover. There's, what do we got in here? Oh, there's no, maybe it's in the back. I was like, where is it? Who wrote all these? Oh, that's crazy artwork. Who? No, come on, guys. Give me Clown Free Zone. That artwork is really good. But I need to find who did it. Who did this? Who did this? Uh, James Stoke? Stoke? Like S T O K O E. Clint Cowles on letters. Oh, this is an amazing spread. Look at that. Look at that amazing spread. All right, that's a fun find. Okay, sticking with more IDW. What do we get? We got Turtles. We got Transformers. And then we got G.I. Joe. 
That's a good one. Oh, is this the female snake eyes? I heard about you. Oh, here's a good one. This okay, so here we are. We're making some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 100. Look at that. That's a good find. So, you know, I paid 7.99 and I got this plus all the other books. So this was basically what I paid for and then I got everything else free. Wow, I'm starting a turtle collection. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 119. So now I have three turtle books. I started with zero turtle books, and now I have three. Actually, I do have the original. I have the first IDW book. Marvel Action, Captain Marvel number four. It's like the kids, kids friendly stuff. Oh, it's by IDW. Interesting. That's really interesting. But I'll definitely let the girls check this out. Another Transformers, Transformers Escape, number five. Not too bad. Oh, I like Cybertron on the back. Yeah, give me all that. Okay, and then we have Batman Black and White, number one, issue one. Nice Greg Capullo cover. This is $5.99. I don't know what it goes for now, but that's a really nice cover. This was something that I wanted. I haven't read any of these. Demon's Fist. I'm trying to think if we got anybody that I'm really excited about writing with. Paul Dini has a story. It's good. But okay, so this right here, this is $5.99. And then we got $7.99 in Turtles. Hi. So I feel like we 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 made it in the end. With this seven ninety this 10 pack. Where's my card? Where's my card? With this 10 pack. I feel like it brought it home. I thought we were like getting a little ripped off uh, in the early beginning of the dollar books, but then we got that 10 pack and you know, we got the turtles 100 and then we got the black Batman back and white. And then we got all the other stuff in there. So these are, um, I think we, I think we broke even. I'm going to go with broke even. I don't know if we made, made a steal, but I feel like we broke even. And I, I, I feel good about my purchase. If I open up the first bag, I didn't feel good. Second bag, I was like, all right. Third bag, feeling really good. So I probably should have just gotten the $7.99 bag, and I'd have been like, oh, my God, this was the best deal ever. Everybody should go to Ollie's. So now I'm like in the middle. Where I'm like, maybe you should go to Ollie's and check it out. I don't know. Okay, so if you like videos like this, like where I grab a bag of comic books and we just chit-chat about them, uh, leave a comment, like, whatever, you, you know, do all that stuff so that I can tell that you like this and want to see more of it. Because if you want to see more of it, I will make more of it for you. All right, I'm Matt Sardo. You have a great weekend. Take care.